dripping. I am dripping over myself. You don't understand. I've had an incredible week and I've got a great weekend coming up and I'm just so happy with me. But you will never know my terror. You will never know my horror. You will never know my pain. You will never know my problems. Because, I mean, it is, it is human to have problems. And the more successful you are, the more shit you've got going on. But you should not bark away your problems to other people. You know what I mean, nobody needs to be your therapist, seriously. And especially social media. When you speak, when you communicate, when you broadcast, it should be positivity. That's my message to you. Help me to like and share the live. I'm asking you for something, human to human. It's very easy to just sit there and watch me. I am asking you, please help me to like and share the live. All you need is your finger. Like, 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 like. Very simple, right? You don't even need your hand. You know what I mean? You just need your finger, in it. And you just need to click share as well. Do that for me. We're gonna have some fun today. Because I'm in a good mood. Actually, I'm in a horrible mood, but I'm just pretending because I'm not gonna do social media therapy. You know what I mean? Put my problems out there. That's for the week. And by the way, I don't believe in mental health issues. I think they're non-existent. Yes, you heard me say that, but pretend I never said that, okay? Don't hold it against me. Let's call the first client. Let's so find the first client. Let's do this. We are calling the United States of America, who's just declined my call. Americans have major issues with WhatsApp. He declined my call again. I'm going to tell him I called you twice. You declined twice. And he's reading my messages. Americans and WhatsApp. This is the oddest thing. Try again. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I've never done WhatsApp. I know it's only the most downloaded app on the planet, right? I'm, you I'm you do re, you do Can realize you that, time? right? Sorry. It, I use FaceTime. Yeah, but you realize WhatsApp is the most downloaded app on the planet, right? I know. I know. I'm old. I'm old too, brother. <laughs> I'm old too. <laughs> it's no excuse. Absolutely no excuse, because time waits for no person. We have to seize yeah, everything yeah. in front of us. So I'm sorry it's not my father. When I was in Kowloon um, with our group um, five or six years ago, we came in for Hong Kong Sevens. Mm -hmm. And we had suits made. Um, and then I met Sam in the city uh, a couple years ago. So I, I, you look familiar, though, so I may have met you then. You look very familiar as well. We did meet, I uh, enjoyed our time together and I've looked at your files and I know that you've met my, with my father when he has visited New York in the past. So, yeah. How so is he? he's doing great. He just got an MB from the Queen. I don't know if you know what that is. No. It's less popular than WhatsApp. I'd rather talk about WhatsApp. <laughs> okay. if, if you don't know what WhatsApp is, I'm gonna be a pains to explain uh, who the Queen of England is. Exactly. So, so this new blazer is for your son, correct? Correct. And your son's name is also Peter, correct? Yeah. Peter but he, Jr. Yeah, but he doesn't like going by Peter Jr. I got it. I know it. I can read your mind. You see what I mean? Yeah. The value of a British education. It's very global. Exactly. Not ethnocentric like the United States. So can I see little Peter, please? Is he there with you? He's 19. <laughs> I know. He's right here. Hello, young man. How are you doing? Sit down. Do you know me? I do not. You've never seen me before? Never. Do you want to grab a chair? Yeah, sure. Where are you right I now? I to and see you someday. Where, where are you right now? In, in Long Island? In, in the Hamptons? In New Jersey. You're in New Jersey. I got you. Okay. So, so... I am going to uh, go through this with you guys and help build young Peter an absolutely sensational blazer, okay? 
I'm going to talk yeah. you through the style options and stuff. I'm not going to ask you questions that lead to a wrong answer. So the last thing that you need to do is freeze or worry that you're making a mistake. I won't let you make mistakes. There won't be questions that lead to a wrong answer. This is entirely about right. you. So don't let me bully you into anything either. A couple of things. You are 19. So you have just finished your first year at university. Uh, I, I'm actually, I did kindergarten twice. So I'm going to be a freshman next year. You did kindergarten twice. Fucking man, I wish I, I could have done it thrice, bro. I wish I was still there. You should be proud of this guy. So he's going to, he'll be a freshman next year down in Dallas at SMU. So you're going to SMU, Southern Methodist University. You see, I don't even live in the United States and I can tell you that. So if I'm telling you that you've got an issue not using WhatsApp, you got to believe me, you know what I'm saying? Southern Methodist University. Um, I went to NYU, which stands for New York University. I believe it's your neighbor. Yeah. You can take the path train across. Am I right here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, excellent, excellent. So what's this blazer going to be for? Um, it's, I was going to wear it a lot in Dallas. Um, I, I have a regular, like, dark navy blazer, but I kind of wanted to just sw switch it up a little bit. Okay, this fabric is sexy, brother. You know what I mean? You are going yeah, to I, be... Yeah. murdering it wearing this jacket trust me okay yeah. i'm gonna pass the phone to a colleague of mine so i can talk freely if at any yeah. point you cannot see or hear me you must tell me all right gotcha okay so this is the fabric that you've chosen correct mm -hmm. what yeah. lining would you like that goes inside the jacket um i look through the um the what the options online i kind of just like a basic why I, my dad has like a red. I mean, yeah, but your I, dad doesn't even know what WhatsApp is, right? That's not a good benchmark. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why don't we use these tigers? Because you are a tiger. You went to kindergarten twice. <laughs> no, yeah, a little too. I mean, like, I was going to go basic on the inside. Are you sure? You know, Dallas is a very progressive city, and, 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 and New Jersey is a very progressive state. New Jersey is where Tony Soprano hails from, right? The Nets yeah. are New Jersey. I mean, you've got a lot of iconic people in New Jersey, and then you're going to Dallas, which is a very iconic city. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. You know, most people from around the world learned about America through Dallas, the TV show. You, you, do you remember Dallas the TV show? No, you're too young, right? But your dad might remember. You know what I mean? J.R. Ewing, Jock <laughs> Ewing, Patrick Ewing, not Patrick Ewing. Patrick Ewing used to play for the Knicks. Um, uh, but you understand what I'm saying, right? Bobby Ewing, he was played by Patrick Duffy, right? Dallas is a very progressive city. I think you're making a mistake, but let's look at the solids. So I, you said that your dad had a red? Yeah. And that's what you would yeah. like? Uh, Are mean, you sure? What, what, do you, what solid do you think would look good with the blue? 100% you know, the, the, the gold. You like a gold? How about, how about like a baby blue, like a Carolina blue? You're thinking very behind the curve. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you mean this is very old. I can do it for you, but here you go. You know what I mean? Why don't you be, what, how about, how about you do something very Americana and you do the Brooks Brothers Bengal stripe? Oh, yeah, nice. I, I like that. So let's go with this, okay? All right, yeah, like that. Great stuff, excellent. At least you have something slightly interesting. It's super can soft line. Like cocktail and stuff like that. I got it. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna be looking inside the jacket. You know what I'm saying? So don't no, don't I sweat that. You like the pattern for cocktail parties and stuff? I love this. Look how I said it from the offset that this is so good. Okay? The yeah. jacket is the fabric is phenomenal. You've got nothing to worry about, okay? It's just absolutely you want me to cut this? Don't you have a big book of this? We you have, do, right? Have, you guys have. forgot about the routine? Um uh, so yeah, the fabric is amazing. Okay, it's absolutely amazing. Let's talk about styling now. All right. So this is the jacket that I'm wearing. Now, young Peter, you must understand that your father is stuck in in a in a very old ethnocentric time warp. Okay. So he's going to wear a two-button jacket that looks like a box and have vents in the back, and it's cut like. Brooks Brothers, and remember, Brooks Brothers went out of business, okay? I can make you that look, it's no problem at all, all right? But let me pay you the respect and talk you through the options. Would you like a one-button, yeah. now listen to me, okay? And again, I remind you, there's no wrong answers, all right? 
-hmm. Would you like a one button jacket? A two roll one. A two button jacket. A three roll two. Or a full three button. What's your preference? One button, two roll one. Two button, three roll two, or full three. What do you suggest for him? I suggest a one button, nice and clean for a young man. We'll, we'll, we'll go the one one. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna trust you. It's more cocktail style. Okay, now how tall yeah. are you? What's that? How tall are you? Uh, about five, five, nine, five, ten. Okay, so then I recommend a peak lapel on a young man that goes okay. upwards as opposed to what your dad has in the notch family which comes downwards. You know what I mean? You're, you're okay. five, nine, five, ten, your average height. It's better to make you look slightly taller, okay? So we're gonna go with a peak shaped lapel, much better on you. Are you good with that? The, 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 the pattern is already very stark and vibrant. So we will keep yeah. the lapel quite narrow, all right? Okay. Okay, I also recommend to show off that it is a bespoke suit, that we do the dot, 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 hand, needle, and thread pick stitching everywhere, okay? So those in the know will know straight away. And Dallas is a very progressive city. It's a very wealthy city. SMU, you, you, you will have people very much in our respective demographics, okay? So I'm sure the, the, the kids and the parents will pick up on it. I have a ton of clients from Dallas. So I recommend the dot, 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 hand needle and thread pick stitching to decorate it. Are you good with that? What, so what, what is that again? Can you, okay. can you explain that one more time? So me? this is empty. This has nothing. Uh, Okay. Gotcha. This has overstitch. Oh, and yeah. and thread. Do you yeah, like, like the, that? Yeah. You prefer the empty or do you prefer the stitching? I like, yeah, I like the stitching. Okay, so we'll do the dot 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 hand needle and thread pick stitching. I will give you yeah. a real buttonhole. Okay. I will give you a barchetta breast pocket, Italian style, with the curve and kick, mm -hmm. like this. Okay. We want it to look like it's custom. We don't want it straight and manufactured, all right? Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yeah, do you think I need a button on the, on the, on the uh, side? I mean, I don't think I really need one. Nobody thinks they need one until they have the jacket ready. Uh, I mean, if you, think I, if you think keep it, I'll keep it then. It will give you a great opportunity to wear a pin, a badge, a flower, a corsage, your fraternity pin, your university pin, your American flag pin, etc., etc., etc. Okay? Uh, it will come we'll keep, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's no harm in having it. Okay? Uh, and we're going to come back to why I want you to have it as well. You will have two pockets only. One, two. Because you have a big gotcha. pattern. And the pockets will be straight, not slanted. Mm -hmm. Because it's a square pattern. Okay? Yeah. And the pockets on a young man will be slightly undersized like this, okay? Just a hair undersized, as opposed to full size like your dad has. I don't think we have any full size pockets anymore. No one's just getting, no one's getting them. So they'll be slightly undersized like this and straight, all right? Now, what looks better to you? Four buttons lined up or four buttons overlapping? I kind of like, well, I kind of like overlap. Okay, we'll go with like overlap. overlap. Great. Yeah. The buttons will all be functional. When I present to you in a couple of weeks time, I will teach you all that. Uh, Let's talk about the buttons now, okay? Uh, For your jacket, <clears throat> right? You could go very basic and do the blue, right? Okay. Because you've got the stark white pattern, the burgundies and the browns won't work, but this decorative blue will work and the ivory will work. So you could go with the basic blue. These are all real horn buttons. These are Marzoni buttons, okay? You've got the decorative blue and you've got the uh, ivory. What do you like best? I like, the, I like the top blue and the ivory. Which one out of the two would you suggest? So why don't we use them both? So what we can do, yeah, let's, do bear with me. Let, me, let me finish. Which, uh, okay, 
I want you to listen to me because only one of us can talk at each at a time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So if we, if this is what we can do, we could just use the ivory. Okay. Uh -huh. And the ivory would be everywhere. Or we could use yeah. both and the primary button would be the blue. Okay. Would be the blue and the secondary button just for a bit of edge the last two buttonholes on the cuff can be the ivory would you like to try that or would you like to just go all ivory we can try that we're okay gonna, we're crazy with it so the primary button will be this decorative blue the secondary button will be the ivory good so we'll, so the, the the two buttons on the front will be the blue and then you, the, the you, secondary you opted the ivory. you opted for one button in the front yeah oh yeah one button yeah, yeah that right, will be yeah. in the blue and then you will have two in blue and two in ivory. Are you good with that? Yeah, I like that. Great stuff. The buttonhole color, okay? Would you like it just uh, matching blue? Or would you like it in a contrast color? Contrast color, what is your preference? I kind of like it going with not, I, I kind of like with the, with the jacket, so probably So blue, one. okay. The yeah. last buttonhole on the cuff, okay? Uh, you would like it in a contrast color or in matching blue? I'd match, yeah. Okay, in the back of the jacket, all right, I recommend a single center vent that is short yeah. and that pops open. It's more dynamic on you. Is that okay with you? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, like that. Okay, do you like a skin fit, skin fit, a slim fit, a regular taper, or a fuller cut? What is your preference? I kind of like just a regular fit. So not slim? Not slim, yeah, like the one, or do I have a slim? No. But your, your body, we'll you're go, gonna gain weight. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with regular fit. Okay, great stuff. Underneath the collar, okay, would you like a contrasting flannel? Or would you like the lining? Contrasting flannel or the lining? Underneath the collar. What's your the lining that you chose? Oh, uh, okay. Um, I kind of yeah, I kind of like yeah, I kind of like it today. Yeah. So the lining under the collar or the contrasting flannel? I like the lining under the collar. Okay, so we'll go with the lining under the collar. Okay. Yeah. You have questions, man? Are you crazy? Shut your eyes, Eva. Um, do you have any questions for me? Not, not, not much, no. Okay, so I'm going to proceed to build the jacket right now. If I have questions for you, I will come back to your father through WhatsApp, okay? The jacket will be ready in a couple of weeks' time, all right? And then we'll, I'll fix a time with your father. I will present the jacket to you. I will teach you how to wear it, okay? Awesome. And then I will ship it to you. Awesome. Are we okay? We are great. Excellent. Thank you so much. No, thank you for bearing with me. Now he'll have all of his measurements. So if he wants, so as he builds out his wardrobe, he'll be able to just reach out to you. Let's make him happy with this one first. Okay. Yeah. It's very important that I was very succinct so that you are, and very curt so that you know what's available to you. You know what I'm saying? I want to make you something mm -hmm. amazing. All right. Yeah. I will talk to you soon. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank thank you. you. God bless you guys. Have a great night. Okay? Take care. Bye bye. <laughs> great call that demonstrates to you that you don't have to be smart to be wealthy. You know what I mean? There are ways to become wealthy without being smart at all. Um, and it also demonstrates. Uh, how obnoxious I am also. You see many, many sides to me. I always tell you I'm moody and stuff. But I become obnoxious around ethnocentric people. I just, I cannot help myself, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I cannot help myself. When God gives you life, it is, it is important that you educate yourself and live that life, you know what I mean? It is just not good enough to be so fucking stupid. Uh, uh, really, let's do another call to a very educated person. Uh, let me move this shit out of the way. And I will take questions afterwards. I have made something glorious for this gentleman. 
Let's see if I can find him. He's also in the United States, but on the other coast. This one was in New Jersey. The next one is in California. And why can I not find him in this thing? You did not mention full lining, I guess. Too. Yeah, full lining. He's a chutia. Such quite chutia. No homework. Oh, by the way, yeah, this guy did no homework whatsoever. The kid didn't even know who I was. Hello. How are you? I'm well. How are you? You look great. Thank you so much. Do you mean that or are you just saying that? No, why would I just say that? Of course you look great. How have the last couple of weeks been? Very nice. Thank you very much for asking. How about yours? Uh, oh my goodness, they have been a roller coaster ride of, of both good and bad. In a good way? In a good, good, I mean, there's highs and lows, right? The more successful yeah, right. you are as a business person, right? The more problems you have. Uh, and, and, and that's part of life, right? It, it, it is what it well, is. Well, I hope I am not one of your problems. Oh, no, not at all. Easier than the others. No, but my, my, my problems are never going to be uh, my clients, right? I'm in a client service, a client serving industry, right? So, so whatever the client throws at you, right? It, that's irrelevant, right? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you have to deal with clients' emotions. It's an emotional visit. My problems stem with my superiors, my staff, my suppliers, <laughs> my tailors. My haters. I can't. I understand. You know what I mean? I mean that's that's life, right? There. Right. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? I got so so many so many bloody problems, right? Uh, like I said, the more yeah. business you do, the more problems you have. Mine are stupid problems from stupid people, from lazy people. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? You know, you know what I mean? My, my problems are stupid, right? Uh, 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 and stuff. They're really, really, really stupid problems. The dynamics of a family business, the dynamics of doing business in Asia, really, it's stupid. Uh, uh, Stupid I can't problems. Imagine. I really can't. No, don't imagine. Enjoy what you're doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> you run a global publication. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 which is so uh, revered. Um, so, look, I love your tuxedo. All right. Obviously, I love it. I built it. But not not just that. I mean, we build a lot of stuff. My team builds a lot of stuff that I think looks like shit. I mean, I could show you so many suits around me right now that are just a waste of my time and the client's time. You know what I mean? They they they, they look like garbage rack stuff. But yours, it is glorious, all right? But forget about me, um, this is about you, right? You need to love it. And if you don't love it, you need to be honest with me so I can change it before sending it to you. But really, we have built something unique. It is not like Met Gala eye-opener, right? No, far from that, forget that, right? It's not even like, you know, Oscar's eye-opener, but it is classy, throwback, you know what I mean? Timeless, like, wow, that's a nice tux sort of eye-opener, right? Very conversational eye-opener. I guarantee you, dear friend, that every single person that you stand and communicate with in this tuxedo will point out how nice it is. Okay. You have my word. That makes me a little nervous. Why? Sounds a bit high fashion. No, not at all. We've chosen such uh, traditional attributes and stuff, right? It is definitely yeah. the opposite of manufacturing, okay? So we, we, we've achieved that. I, I really, really like this tuxedo. It's very classy. It's very Gatsby. It's very Bond. Uh, uh, you, you've done very well. It, it, it strays completely from what you would purchase off the racks online or walking into a store. So like I said, you've done very well, okay? So let's take a look at it together. Let me talk you through it, all right? I'm gonna pass the phone to a colleague like I did last time. Okay, okay here we go. <coughs> so here is the jacket. Really, it is lovely. The black fabric itself is beautiful, okay? It's a fabric that we use for tuxes all the time because it's got a nice natural sheen to it, okay? So it doesn't look like a black suit. We opted for two buttons, which is a classic tuxedo style, rather than the one button manufacturer's look. Beautiful two button tuxedo, and you did the right thing by going for raw charcoal mother of pearl buttons, okay? Rather than going for satin covered buttons, which again looks manufactured, right? So I'm very happy that you made this choice. Each button is unique because it is raw charcoal, uh, mother of pearl, unprocessed. Of course, it's a tuxedo, so the lapel is in satin. And what have you allowed us to do with satin? You've allowed us to hand pierce it with our dot, 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 hand needle and thread pick stitcher. So we pierce the satin like a Tom Ford tuxedo would be pierced, like a Brioni tuxedo would be pierced, like a Keton tuxedo would be pierced, right? All the high, high, high level brands would do this pick stitching on the satin and the pick stitching continues around the collar, down both sides of the jacket. Um, you've got a real buttonhole here, so you can wear a pin badge flower corsage. I'm wearing pins in my suit today. 
Um, you also have a flower loop behind to catch the stem of a fresh flower. Slight barchetta breast pocket, slight curve and kick, nothing aggressive, nothing like a Brioni or Laura Piana barchetta. Uh, you were a bit scared of that. You can put your glasses in here, business cards. I always put business cards in my breast pocket. Um, handkerchief, nothing at all. Or you can utilize our built-in pocket square, okay, on demand. Just shape that how you like. Okay, as we come down the jacket, you can see the pick stitching everywhere. Slanted pockets, again, to show off that they're bespoke, and fully satin pipe pockets. The pockets are piped in satin completely. From a distance, that satin disappears. You know, it doesn't even look like it's there. The breast pocket satin will always look like it's satin covered because it's a larger piece. The buttons, Extremely bespoke cut with the overlapping buttons. I love the total shell effect. All the buttons in raw mother of pearl. All the buttons unique from one another. You will wear one button open to show off that it's a bespoke tuxedo. Regardless, all the buttonholes are functional, okay? But wear one button open each side. Okay. Okay? The lining inside is just glorious. It is just excellent, all right? It goes so well. I call this lining the rosewood. It is super soft. So what do we do with a super soft lining inside? We build, build you these underarm pads. The underarm pads are there to take the wear and tear because believe it or not, the most wear and tear for a man's jacket is a little bit when you're taking it off, but primarily when you're putting it on, boom. Putting it on, boom, okay? You give that tug, right? That's what's always wearing on the interior. So our jackets, we build in, build in these arm, underarm pads. Each one is specific to the individual. So you can see this guy's is this size. Yours is slightly larger, right? Everyone's is different based on their body, okay? So the, the underarm, pa underarm pads will take the wear and tear and not the super soft lining. The underarm pads actually built in the fabric itself, the, the suit fabric, the tuxedo fabric. So that adds to the artisan. Now the underarm pads are piped to keep them in place and secure them. And they're piped in the lining itself to add to the artisan. In fact, the entire jacket interior is piped. The entire jacket interior is piped to secure it, reinforce it. It's piped to the lining itself to add to the artisan. So you have a very pretty interior. You have your name spelt correctly. Spare buttons, one big, one small, for running repairs. You have me to send you buttons anytime. You've got these lockaway pockets. You tuck the flap in for easy in and out, or you pull the flap out, button, and secure whatever needs to be secured. You've got that on both sides, so tucked in for easy in and out, or pulled out, and lock away what you need. And of course, the buttons inside are raw mother of pearl. You have a utility pocket here for a pen, a laser pointer, a comb, a cigar. And you have lower pockets for a smartphone and a power bank. Little hook here to hang the jacket as we turn it around. Pick stitching on the back of the collar, lining underneath the collar, double vents on the back as per your request. I'm gonna put it on just to give you a bit more perspective. It really is very, very pretty. And your timing when you text me was perfect because the touch was ready a day or two later. Magnificent roping on the shoulders, okay? So no padding, soft shoulders and some roping at the end. It's not cut for me, so you, you know, you'll see the effect on you. But what I wanted yeah, to do right. was I wanted to put it on to show you the wasting. Look how dramatically wasted it is. So you really will have that hourglass shape. Do you have any questions for me about the jacket? I don't. I, the only thing I would like is to have a closer look at the pig stitching on the lapel, since I could not see it. Oh, really? You sh I wish you had said sooner. Yeah, thanks. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, great, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for letting me build it. Here are your tuxedo pants, which are just as glorious, okay? So you have matching mother of pearl buttons. Every bell and whistle we have given you, all right? Silk. Uh, excuse me, satin face down both outside legs. A fully covered satin waistband. 
okay? Very glamorous, negating the need for a cummerbund, okay? You can still wear a cummerbund if that's your prefer preference, but with the satin waistband, it negates the need for a cummerbund. Now, the inside of the pants have shirt stains. This will keep the shirt locked in, pristine, okay? And you have suspender buttons to wear braces. You have a crotch guard to protect against wear and tear. And you have a heel guard to protect against wear and tear. Okay. So, and it's lovely fabric. It just, I don't know if you can see the shimmer on it. Any questions about the pants? Yeah. Are you happy so far? Yeah, it looks great. Okay, it looks great. It looks great. It will look even better in person. Now, moreover, you have a sensational dinner shirt. You have a sensational dinner shirt just sensational I cannot tell you how beautiful it is so you have the collar in the Marcella okay you have the bib in the Marcella you have the cuffs in the Marcella the inside of the collar is lined with the rosewood lining the buttons on the shirt are charcoal mother of pearl buttons you can button the shirt using the charcoal mother of pearl buttons, or you can put your own studs in. There's a button panel here. You simply remove the button panel, slip it in your jacket pocket so you don't lose it. If you do lose it, I'll send you a new one. So you can button the shirt, or you can use studs. All right? I, never, I haven't used studs since the early 2000s. It's so out of date that people don't wear them much anymore? No, I mean, if someone has an heirloom, or, you know, if someone's, uh, if someone's wife has gifted it to them, uh, someone's uh, father-in-law has gifted it to them, someone's father has gifted it to them, et cetera, et cetera, right? Uh, uh, you know, people will wear them. But I don't think many people, I mean, I don't, let me rephrase. There are many wealthy people on the planet, right? They'll go out and buy diamond studs. Do you get what I'm saying? Or some, you know, solid gold studs, et cetera, et cetera. I think the way it is for mainstream tux wearers now, they, 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 they rarely wear studs. A lot of guys default to a, a fly front, a, a hidden button front, because they want to avoid the, uh, the need to use studs. But I always try to talk them out of it, and I say that, you know, my mother of pearl buttons are gorgeous. And you should, never, you should always have the option for both, because you never know what's going to come on, along in life. Suddenly you might see a set of studs that you want to purchase, or more likely you'll be gifted one. So you can wear buttons or studs. Each buttonhole is, is uh, stitched in black, making it very classy. Each button, the thread of it, is stitched in black as well. So to give you nice high contrast. Same thing with the cuffs. Now, the cuffs can be buttoned. Showing off the gorgeous Marcella. The cuffs can also be cuffed. So you button inwards and you cuff outwards. You got that? Yeah, button inwards, cuff outwards. Yeah, initials there. Yep. You have gussets in the uh, sat in the in the lining with PJC on the gusset as well. Beautiful. Now, now when you when you take off the jacket and you're really in party zone, right? You can also turn the cuff back while you're dancing and button backwards and show off the rosewood. Cool? Looks beautiful. Right? You can also accessorize in that look. In case you're scared of using your cufflinks, just turn back your cuff and cuff backwards. So just an amazing shirt. I love it. Yeah, yeah, I love it too. Excellent. So I will uh, send you an email requesting your delivery details, and then we'll, this will go out to you today. Beautiful. I'm very excited to see it. I love the work you've done. Thank you for walking me so carefully through the process. No, that is my, it's my absolute pleasure. Um, that's what I do. You know, what I mean? this is basically what I do, and you put an immense you amount, well. you put an immense amount of trust and faith in me. So I'm very grateful to you. Okay. Uh, many thanks. Many thanks. I'll talk easy. to you, I'll talk to you when you receive it. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, let me go in the office. Okay, two great calls. Let's change scenery, right? 
it's going to be like you know lots of noise out here you change scenery you know take to the office answer your questions so you got you got two things today right you got a consultation and a presentation i apologize of how uh how non-homework doing the first caller was uh, and so forth. And the second caller intimidates me a bit. Can you believe that? I don't know why uh, 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 and stuff, but he just does. So any questions for me? I mean, a couple of days ago, we had some great questions. We had some great questions all week. Yesterday was very, very farcical, extremely farcical. Here I'm back at my desk. Yeah, first call had an IQ of a bucket, but they're very well to do. The thing is that, that what I mean is, it's all good, Tarzan, thank you. It's all good, do what you gotta do. But the thing is, what I mean is that this is why, why education is so important. And you don't need to have gone to school to be educated, right? My father left school at maybe 16 years old and stuff. And whilst he, he may, you know, he's too old to like, you know, use the internet uh, and so forth, right? I mean, but he knows a lot of shit, right? He's just a smart fucking guy. And he knows shit about now and globally, he knows shit what he's interested in, right? And like I said, it's just not, it's just not good enough. Um, it's just not good enough to, to, um, to know, not know what WhatsApp is, right? I mean, it's just it's so silly, right? It's just not an excuse. I mean, it's different saying, oh, I don't know how to use Snapchat. I mean, that is such a segmented app, right? And, and so forth. It's, it's, it's it, you know, it's segmented to a very specific demographic and, and age group, right? Even I, I try Snapchat, I'm like, this is stupid. It serves me no purpose. Snapchat served me no purpose, but it doesn't mean I didn't give it a go. I gave it a good go. But I was like, it's, it's useless. It's useless for me, right? How can you not know what WhatsApp is and how to use it? <clears throat> okay, so I know there's plenty of you here that want to ask me great questions, interested in what I'm saying and stuff. But there's also idiots who are barking away. So keep your questions coming rapid fire and relevant. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to go. I, everybody uses SMS. Everybody does. It's, 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 it's no excuse. It's no excuse. Everybody uses SMS. You know what I mean? It, it, it's not like, oh, WhatsApp was invented and then we started messaging each other and you guys were using SMS. We were using SMS before you guys. All right? So it's, 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 not, it's not an excuse. Best suit to match. You're, you're, you're talking about buying, buying a suit to match shoes that you bought? That's just ridiculous. You buy the suit first. My favorite football team is Liverpool. No, I have no plans to visit London. I'm going to Japan. I got into this Taylor game because I want to bring my client's vision to life. The watch I'm wearing is one that I wear the most. Now, look, I've dropped my lid. Oh, then my lid's gone. A bottle of water's going to fall everywhere now. Um, I speak English. I don't have any plans to visit anywhere. I've just told you I'm going to Japan. That's it. If I'm going to Japan, it doesn't mean I'm going to go anywhere else for another six months at least. Nobody inspired me. I just want to bring my client's vision to life. I do not smoke cannabis. Uh, you do what you want to do. Uh, I don't snort cocaine. <laughs> I, 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 I believe I love my mind. Okay, and and uh, you know I enjoy me being me, and that's basically it. So, so it's just no no need to do any mind altering, mind bending substances, right? It's just not not me. I found the lift. It was on my chair. <laughs> Little things like that make me happy. Look at me. I found the lift. I'm so happy. I am pro-China, of course. What, what, why be anti-anything? Be anti-terrorism, obviously, right? You know I mean, you be anti-terrorism. Be anti-Putin, right? That doesn't mean you should be anti-Russian. Why would I be anti-China? Why would it be anti-anything? You know what I mean? I cannot conjure up fabrics, okay? There's no, you cannot come to me and say, 
oh, I want some anime, make me an anime. This is not what I do. I make suits. I don't make fabrics. I don't live in the United States. So I don't know anything about the American uh, school system. The books behind Honey, a client order books. I am from Sindh in India. I'm born and raised in Hong Kong. I have no favorites. I make double breasted suits every single day. I have plenty of trophies back here. They're all business awards. I've already worked with Tom Segura on three suits. If you want to be gift wrapped in my 40 fit, you have to purchase a suit. Thank you, hi, thank you for the, the gift, uh, but you have no name. You have a broken heart and a knife. Um, biggest frustration with clients is the photocopy machine thing. <clears throat> when they come in and say, I want the exact same fabric, I want the exact same style, I want the exact same size, I want the exact same attributes. There's no exact same, we make everything by hand. There's no photocopy machine. I don't think there's any CCP influence in Hong Kong, right? Um, every government, every, every regime, right, creates its own evolution in, in, in every country, right? If you look at David Cameron, he had, its, he had his own evolution in the United Kingdom, and he brought that to an end. I, he, I, I felt so bad for him when, 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 you know, they, when he lost the referendum, referendum and they voted for Brexit, right? President Obama had eight years in office, right? So the evolution under him was, was, was promoted, uh, was pushed by him, right? We're under the current regime of Xi Jinping, okay? So the evolution of all Chinese cities will be groomed, will be, will, will be pushed by him. Uh, and, and that's pretty much it. Um, I, I lived in Hong Kong. I grew up in Hong Kong under British rule. So I was under three British governors, I believe, Sir Edward Ude, Sir David Wilson, and Lord Chris Patton. And I'm now under, I, I could have been four, I can't remember. I mean, that's a long time ago. But I've been under five, this is the fifth chief executive that I've had now. We had Tung Chi Wa, Donald Chung, Si Wai Leung, who was a joke. There was no evolution again, it was de-evolution underneath him. Uh, Carrie Lam, who had to fight the pandemic, uh, and now John Lee. Um, and, and, John Lee has been very quick to influence the city, uh, but he started from a very low point because the pandemic decimated us, right? So your, your thoughts are on the CCP are very, very naive, extremely naive. Uh, you, know, you know what I mean? It, it, it's so naive that it's, it's immature, right? It's just disgustingly immature. Um, you don't even live in the country. I have no return policy. You pay me cash in advance, and then I make your goods. And that's basically, if you're not happy with it, that's your problem, not mine. Sam Saylor, biggest fan. See, I dropped my lid again, and it fell into the same place. Uh, I appreciate all the roses that you are sending me. There's no orange or, or, origin story on my meteoric marketing, but I love your question. I actually love it. My business has been around for 66 years, and I've been part of it for 24 years full-time. Obviously, I was part of it as a child. We do live in China, right? I'm living proof of child labor in China. Um, you just got to be bold, right? You got to be bold. You got to be transparent. I'm bold. I didn't sit around whilst, you know, my economy was absolutely decimated. My business was absolutely decimated by China's locked in policy um, for the pandemic. So I just, you know, I evolved very quickly. I need to get people's attention. And that's pretty much it. That's all it is. I'm just having fun. Uh, and I'm having fun uh, with uh, my clients. I did not get through COVID time. I fucking died, right? I did what I had to do. Uh, I did, I, one interesting interview I had with television, I was actually in a studio in the newsroom, and I said that, look, I may be falling off the cliff here, but I'm not falling. I'm, you know, I'm clawing. I'm clawing my way down. I'm being sucked down. But I'm clawing on the edge of the cliff. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and that's what I do in every direction. I claw. Because leaps and bounds, I mean, they just don't come, come for me. You know what I'm saying? Who made suits during COVID? Santa Claus. Fuck are you talking about? My suits cost 650 US.
I appreciate all your love. I was born and raised in China. We were a British colony back then. I mean, I'm, I, you have to understand, I'm willing to do an interview, guys, but what is your reach? You understand what I'm saying? What is the interview for? What is the niche? What is the hook? Uh, you, know, you know what I mean? What's in it? Not in it for me and stuff, but, you know, is it worth my time? Uh, I'll show you one, one tattoo. I have five in total. You, Adrian, I'd love to work with you. Say soon, but you have to remember, time waits for no person. If you want to do something, do it now. You can come, come and pay me American dollars. You can send me a bank transfer. I speak English. I mean, I, I think everybody in, in, in China speaks English. I think one of the things that you guys don't understand in Caucasian countries, right? Uh, that who, in Anglo-Saxon countries, where, the, where the, 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 the primary language is English, is that your population bases are so small. America, 300 something million people is, is a small country, right? We have 1.4 billion in China, 1.4 billion in India. At least half of those populations speak English, okay? In fact, India, is, India ha has the most English speaking people on the planet. Okay, and it's, you know, it's, again, it's very naive. It's very naive to assume that people here don't speak English. I work hard at being cool. That's why I'm so cool. You don't work hard, you don't get anything. I don't even know what is Venmo. I take cash, transfer into my bank account. Very, very simple. My job is to bring my client's vision to life. So I, I build all my suits based on their preferences. Uh, I, I just do push-ups, pull-ups, dips sometimes, uh, body weight squats, crunches sometimes, and sprints. You can see my earrings here. Uh, you don't need to close them. I make time for my family every night and then on Sunday lunchtime. So I work six and a half days a week, 99 hours a week. I can make a suit for any size person because I build from scratch. My tattoos are my father's name and my three children's names. My clients, at the end of the process, gag for a video. Uh, I'm only Insta famous recently, so it'll take a long time for my client demographic to change, but I've worked with all sorts of people uh, all the time. Hong Kong, very diverse city, even though the population base is primarily Chinese. We have everything from the most incredible futuristic infrastructure to just a beautiful, beautiful grassy green lands and mountains uh, and, and like 200 beaches. Remember, we're a city of islands as well. <clears throat> Nobody inspired me other than my father. A suit, oh my goodness, a suit is a jacket and trouser, okay? So if you purchase a suit, you're getting a jacket and a trouser in the same fabric, that's what a suit has. What are the roles of my employees? To fucking piss me off to make mistakes, to make me lose money. I need nine weeks to deliver to you. Well, first and foremost, if you want to be intelligent, in my eyes, you need to know what the hell WhatsApp is. Uh, I think you guys know this already. I've, I've worked personally with President Clinton, President Bush, Junior and President Bush Senior, and my father has worked with all three, uh, as well as President Trump. Thank you so much, uh, Brandon Kinsella. I appreciate you. Uh, thank, thank you so much, Biorat. I appreciate you. You are fucking stupid people. Is it natural for me to be so bold on camera? What, what is it to be scared of, right? I get, I get very scared before I, I make a speech or I am, you know, in front of a, a giant audience, right, in a hotel ballroom. Or, you know, if I'm emceeing an event or if I'm dancing at a function, right, a performance. I get nervous just before I'm about to do a TV interview, especially if I've gone to their studios, if I'm not at my work. But to make a video with a client that you can put on Insta, I mean, that is the most trivial garbage on the planet. It really is. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's low-grade marketing what I'm doing uh, and, and, and so forth. And I'm not dissing you guys at all. 
I'm answering your question and I'm grateful to you guys. I love to chat with you every day. I love it that you are, are here for me every single uh, day. You know what I mean? I, you know, I'm grateful to you guys. God bless you guys. But you have to understand something. If you're not bold, if you don't lead from the front, then how can you, how can you expect your employees to be bold, to be educated, to, to lead, to, to communicate? How can you expect your children to be the same, right? So you got to take it for the team, right? Even if there is no team, if the team doesn't know they're on the team, even, uh, uh, even, uh, even if, you know, my kids, they're not there yet. Even my employees don't know what they should be doing. You, you don't know what is wax on, wax off. You never heard of wax. You never watched a karate kid and stuff. As a leader, you have to lead from the front. You can't be scared of anything, right? You just got to do it. Uh, and am I religious? Yes, I'm a devout Hindu. I have no pet, pet peeves with suits. I have pet peeves with people who don't know what is WhatsApp or don't know how to use it. I think turtlenecks go great with suits. I'm born and raised in Hong Kong. I'm going to understand how many times I'm going to say this question. I have no plans to relocate anywhere. I'm very happy here. I appreciate you so much, Oli. One, one, two, nine, eight, zero. You're amazing to me. I'll start with one suit first, right? If you're moving from Australia to New York. There's no suit combos, right? A suit is a suit. My favorite Liverpool player all time is Steven Gerrard. I'm six foot four tall. I will, I don't know if I'll ever retire. I've got so many bills to pay. I'm not poor, so don't worry about me. Skabal suit will start at 1300 US. Melanie, thank you for the gifts. I, I've never worked with Peter Crouch, no. I made my suit. My hobbies are hanging out with my kids and working out. Uh, my videos just popped out of nowhere out of my head. What's the biggest advice to give someone trying to run a business? Work hard. If you cannot work hard, you're better off working for someone. And working hard means really, really working hard. I work on wedding suits virtually every single day of my life. I have no favorites. Jade. The no face, thank you for the love. Size definitely affects price. The taller you are, the bigger you are, the fatter you are, the more expensive it is. The base price is 650 US. I made a lot of trench coats. I cannot do any pull-ups. Uh, my children are 14, 12, and 11. My cough has gotten better, but it's, I'm still not there. I've been sick for nearly four weeks now. I've worked with umpteen scores, Hundreds of celebrities. Uh, to book a suit to be made, first of all, send me your measurements through the measurement chart on my website. Then I can make you something amazing. The most expensive suit I've ever made is 10,000 US dollars. I've never worked with Drake. Uh, Mo Thompson 05, I appreciate your love. I have no sales whatsoever. We don't do sales yet. I don't think I ever got any good Peking duck when I was in the United States, ever. Obviously, I'm comparing to Hong Kong. I listen to Bollywood music. I work with Eminem. It's a great photo of Eminem and my father here in our store. I cannot rank the famous people that I've uh, worked with. Favorite subject to study in school? Gosh, it just varied over time. And this is why teachers are so important because it's not the subject matter. The teacher's a dick, right? You're going to fucking hate the subject. And I had a lot of dick teachers, seriously. A lot of dick teachers. A lot of great teachers that I loved as well, right? A lot of dick teachers throughout school and a lot of dick teachers at, at college as well. Some of the questions I don't understand because the English, it, it's just not coherent. I worked with uh, Emeka Okafor. You guys know who he is? He signed a massive contract for the Clippers way back when, I think a $60 million five-year contract or something. I worked with this other guy who used to play for the Rockets. I can't remember his name, though. 
I think it's, it's, it's paramount to go to college. You, you, you have to educate yourself, seriously. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm with you, there are more dick teachers than good teachers. So when my, my, my daughter started middle school a couple of years ago, right? I think she was late for a physics class or something, I can't remember. She just started school, right? So she didn't, you know, school is big. So she didn't know which class, how to get to, you know, this classroom, that classroom, shit. It's like a minute late or something. And the teacher said, you're a minute late, you need to wait outside. Don't come into my classroom. And she had just started at this school, same school that I went to. So when she told me, so she was so upset, right? So I went to school and I told the teacher, I said, if you ever make my daughter wait outside your classroom, I will make you wait outside your house forever. You'll never be able to enter your house. That's the type of person that I am. My dad is here working with me right now. My favorite actor is Shah Rukh Khan. I would love to work with him. I love the UK. I used to live there for a year. I don't own Sam Sailor. Uh, my father and uncle do. You've seen my dad so many times. You can see photos of him uh, on my website. I'm not getting up from my chair right now. Okay, so I am going to go now. I appreciate you guys. Josh, how are you, brother? I'm so grateful to you. Toughest part of starting a business, I never started the business, right? So I can't really answer you that. Do I ship outside? Outside of what? <laughs> I always knew I wanted to go into this business. My accent is my accent. Nobody can nail it. It's amazing working with Eminem. I mean, this guy's fucking brilliant. I loved him growing up. I absolutely loved him. My favorite color for a suit right now is dark green. It used to be burgundy. My favorite color in general is, uh, is, uh, is yellow. Uh, what do I wear the most of? Blue suits. I don't remember the first suit that I created, but I do remember my time with both President Bush Sr. and President Bush Jr was amazing, just incredible men. Same thing with my time with President Clinton. It was, it was just so incredible. I just, I just loved it. Anyways, I'm gonna get going now. And I'm very grateful to you guys. You guys are amazing to me. I'll be back again tomorrow morning. Uh, it's my favorite tattoo, my father's name and his hands. I'll be back uh, tomorrow morning. Thank you for everything. I, I live stream every single day at 10 a.m. my time. Ginny, thank you for the roses. 10 a.m. my time is 10 p.m. New York. It's 7 p.m. Uh, Los Angeles. And it's 3 a.m. London. So that's 10 p.m. Toronto, uh, 7 p.m. Vancouver, 4 a.m. Paris. Are you with me? Um, and so please join me. And you know, we'll always speak to a client. We'll always have a chat. There will always be different stuff going on. Um, I tie a different knot every single day. It doesn't bother me. I tie my eyes closed. Uh, they're my own knot. Um, and the fact that I wear a tie every day, six days a week for years and years and years, I, mean, I think my knot is really my knot. Um, I posted a great video of an amazing green suit, a light green Marzoni linen suit this morning, my morning. It's on all my socials. So it's on my Insta feed, my TikTok feed. Please do me a favor, check out that video. It's only a minute long. Tell me what you think of the suit uh, in the comment section. Uh, and if you like the suit, forward it to your friends. Uh, Batman, thank you so much for staying up late at 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. every day to watch me stream. Um, and if you don't like the suit, you think it's possible, forward it to your friends and see what they think. But definitely let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm going to say bye to Insta first. And I will stay with TikTok for a couple of minutes. Yeah, the embassy video was great. I loved it. I didn't, I didn't get any views on that either side. I'm surprised. Um, let me say bye to you, Insta first. Who's here that I recognize? Lisa, Josh, Danielle, American Movie Podcast. I'm trying to get to know more people. I'm trying to remember just by glancing through. Biorat, who are the ones that are here every day. Aiden Bagshaw, I think I've seen you here before. Same with Cal, if I'm not mistaken. Batman, you said something very sweet today. Garfield Enthusiast, I think I recognize that name as well. Frederick 
Erica, of course, is with me every day. I recognize a lot of these names, but I don't want to call them out in case I'm wrong. You know what I mean? But you guys are amazing to me, all of you. So let me see if I can say first.